Hello and welcome. My name is Sanjay Soni. Here's Mark with a deep dive on Azure Cosmos DB Multimaster. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Now, let's get started. Hi, Mark. How are you doing today? I'm good, Sanjay. Good to see you. Awesome. Good to see you as well. So what do you do at Microsoft? So I'm a program manager on the Cosmos DB team uh, here at Microsoft. All right, let's get started with my first question. Um, so what can you tell me about multi-master support in Cosmos DB? Yeah, so we just announced the general availability for multi-master support for Cosmos DB. Uh, and what that means is now every region uh, that you set up as a replica within Cosmos DB is now fully writable. It's a full master uh, within Cosmos DB. So let's say you have US region and Australia region, you're saying, well, what would that scenario look like? Yeah, so if you had a single master database or prior to us releasing multi-master support, uh, you had a region in Australia and one in West US and another in say East US, uh, depending on which one was the master database, all the writes would have to go to that region. All of your reads would come from all the other replica regions and those are all gonna be super fast, but your writes all have to go to a single region. Mm -hmm. With multi-master now, Every region that you set up as a replica is now a full master, so you can write to that region and get the same latency uh, as you would as if you were writing or if you were in the same region as the, as the master. Th that's fantastic. It's great. So now what we get is we get single digit latency for reads and writes mm -hmm. for every database that you have uh, replicated in Cosmos DB. Uh, you get the same five nines availability, so 99.999% availability. Yes. Uh, we offer the same consistency levels uh, that customers have enjoyed with Cosmos DB. So we have five levels of consistency within Cosmos DB. Mm -hmm. we, have the, we maintain those same levels of consistency uh, for multi-master support. Uh, we also have flexible conflict resolution within there. So this is you know, maybe unlikely uh, in a lot of customer scenarios, but if you have multiple databases where you can write to them, conflicts can happen, and we provide a really flexible, uh, intuitive way of being able to handle those. Uh, for customers within there. Really, the, the biggest point I want to make about yeah. Multimaster is now you really get unlimited endpoint scalability, right? The more regions you add on, uh, the more writes you can do, the more scalability you're going to get of course. Uh, within there. So that just really makes uh, Cosmos DB an even more attractive uh, offering and solution for customers. And the other thing I want to say, too, is this is available in all regions. So every one of the regions, and I won't say how many regions we have because that's going to be out of date in like forever or, <laughs> or like immediately. Yeah, yeah it keeps changing. Uh, but every region, uh, we're there. We're ring zero. So this is available in all regions, uh, available for all the APIs we support. So SQL, Mongo, Cassandra, Table, Graph, uh, and all the SDKs as well. I see. So what kind of latency do customers currently get with multi-master support? You bet. So today, customers get less than 10 millisecond latency worldwide in all the reads. With multi-master support, they're now going to get that same single digit latency on reads and writes. And this is, of course, is all going to be backed uh, financially backed by our SLAs. So at the 99th percentile, they're going to get less than 10 millisecond at the 50th percentile. Uh, up to less than six millisecond. I see. So super fast. This is just fantastic. All over. Yeah. That's great. So can we see a live demo? You bet. So what I want to show you first is how easy it is to create a, a new account uh, with Multimaster. So I'm going to go into the Azure portal here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to select Create Resource, and then I'm going to scroll down to Cosmos DB right here. I see. And then this is going to put up a new page here. And then I'm going to select a subscription I want to work from. And then I'll select one of my resource groups. And then I'm going to enter an account name here. And we can just call this uh, Mark Test Account. And hopefully I get the green checkbox. Yep. Uh, and then with under there, I can select which API I want to create this for. And I'll just stick with our core SQL API right here. And then I can select the location, but honestly, since it doesn't really matter because every region is now a master, it doesn't really matter which region I select, but I'll just select West US 2 here. And then I'll go ahead and select multi-region rights right here. And then I can go ahead and just say review and create, and it'll give me a little summary page, and then just go and create it. So that'll take a few minutes to go off and provision the new account uh, and get it all set up. And then once I'm in there, I can go ahead and start adding regions. So let's go into an existing account I have set up. 
So here's an account I have set up, and I've set this up in three regions. So I have my first region in Southeast Asia, another one in North Europe, and another one in West US too. So any data that I write at any three of those regions is going to automatically be replicated to all the other regions I've got, Fantastic. right? And that happens in just milliseconds. And you'll notice here that for each of the regions I have, I have reads enabled and then of course writes enabled. So anytime I add a new region within here by selecting add region, uh, or I can go ahead and just click on an item in the, in the uh, map here, it'll go ahead and add it, just save it, uh, and then that region will automatically get provisioned and then all the data that's already in the database will then get replicated to that and then light it up and you're ready to go. It's that easy. It's that easy. The other thing I wanted to point out too is with Multimaster, uh, the manual and automatic failover buttons in here uh, are disabled. And the reason is because failover is implicit with Multimaster. So if a region becomes unavailable uh, for whatever reason, uh, the clients will automatically retry uh, your read or write request at another region. It will automatically go and take care of that for you. So really you couldn't have a more seamless experience uh, with accounts that are enabled for Multimaster. So it's really for lots and lots of reasons, latency, availability, scalability, but even, even for uh, things like failover uh, and business continuity, uh, just lots of great features and lots of great things that come out of it. The next thing I wanted to show you is latency. And what I want to show you, so I have two individual or two identical Cosmos DB accounts. I have one here, and this one is set up as a single master. So the single write region master is in the Southeast Asia region. And then I have two read regions, one in West US 2 and another one in North Europe. I then have that same setup here in a multi-master account that I just showed you. And here you can see I've got reads and writes enabled on both of those. Now I just want to show you the difference with latency with an application that I built. Now this application sits in the West US 2 region. So the scenario here is I'm a company, I set up my initial region in the Southeast Asia region, and I've got customers that are growing all over the world. So I want to add a region in West US 2 yeah. so I can get low latency for my application that I'm going to deploy there. And let's just say I have a web that's sitting on, a, on one or more VMs and load balanced or it's in a web app. Uh, and then I have another in North Europe, want to get that as close to my customers as possible and get the app to them, close to them as possible, and the data behind it. So that's my scenario. So, so more like a retail app probably? There sure, it could be and like an e-commerce e or something, yeah. but it could be anything. I mean, it could be a game or okay. it could be an IoT solution. Okay. Uh, there's lots of different scenarios that Cosmos DB is great for. Awesome. So let's go, I'm going to go and open up my application here, and this thing is sitting in West US 2. And what I want to do is I want to show the difference in latency between a single master database and a multi-master database. Yes. So I've got a client here, this is sitting in West US 2, and I'm going to do some testing on reads here just to show the difference in latency. So let me fire this up. This is going to test 100 reads against the West US 2 region. Now this should go really fast because I have a read replica set up in West US 2. So my application sitting in that same region is going to get that single digit latency and you can see right here all these four or five millisecond read requests. So let's try 100 writes and just see what happens. So it's going to be slower. It's going to be a lot slower because yeah. all those writes now have to travel along our backbone all the way over to the Southeast Asia region and then get inserted in the replica that's sitting in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Can't do anything about the speed of light. I've got to go you know, all the way across the Pacific uh, and then do those uh, writes over there. So quite a bit slower. So let's try that. Now I'm going to go against the multi-master database that I showed you with reads and writes enabled in here. Yes. And as you would expect, let's do 100 reads. And these, of course, are going to be fast, just like they were in the single in the first one. But now let's look at writes. Now keep an eye out. All right. Whoa, there they go. Wow. <laughs> that was 170-something milliseconds before. Now it's only a few seconds. Now it's less than 10 milliseconds. Wow. That's fantastic. Right. So now you're talking about, you know, some real scenarios where you can apply this with your application. Let's say it's that e-commerce scenario and you got people that are, you know, it's Black Friday and they're all trying to buy yes. and go crazy all at the same time, right? You want that, that, that single digit latency, the lowest latency you can possibly get and that high availability yes. too because you can just add more regions or add more RUs uh, to the databases or collections you've got uh, and then scale up that throughput. That's fantastic. No wonder you are so passionate about it. I love it. This is a great team to work for, and it's an amazing service. Awesome. 
Thank you so much for all this great information today. You're welcome, Sanjay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this micro learning readiness video about Azure Cosmos DB. To learn more about this and other topics, please go to azure.com forward slash Cosmos DB. Please stay tuned for more videos.